Now, the next speaker is Antonio Barros, in a partnership with STKB, and is going to is coming from Wintrust and is coming to present agilitized tests. Wait a second. Agilitized tests from many flavors of agile into testing best practices. But before, we're going to have Anna Paiva to talk a little bit about PSTTB. Anna Paiva, please. Okay. Are you listening? Okay. Okay. Good morning, everyone. My name is Ana Paiva. I'm a teacher of the Faculty of Engineering of the University of Porto, and I am also one of the co-founders of the Portuguese Software Testing Qualification Board. Um, this board was founded in 2010, and the aim is to promote and foster skills and recognition of professionals and in the area of software testing. Um, so, as a Portuguese board, our, we aim to provide exams for the certification in Portuguese. Nowadays, we have the first level in Portuguese, the foundation exam in Portuguese. And um, as you may know, the ISTQB has a scheme, a certification scheme, structured in three levels, foundation, advanced, and expert, okay? For the foundation, as I said, we already have an exam in Portuguese, and we want also to have uh, in the future exams for the advanced and for the expert level, okay? So, um, we have those exams since 2013, and as a Portuguese association, we have a site that you may visit, um, and we promote some meetings uh, during uh, one every year, uh, an annual, conference uh, with international speakers and um, tutorials. So in, uh, before the conference, we, um, if you belong to the association, you may um, apply for the tutorials with a lower price. Okay? And those tutorials give, of course, uh, knowledge uh, about software testing, different uh, themes as agile testing, foundation level, um, automation, uh, and so on. Okay. Also, we have regular meetings that we call Test Our Coffee, and these meetings are at the end of the day, between uh, 5 p.m. and uh, 8 p.m., okay? And during those meetings, we have some um, speakers that talk about some themes in the area of software testing, and we have the opportunity also to coffee and uh, some cookies, and it is a, a pleasant environment, okay? So I invite you to see or to, to look into Google PSTQB and to see our, our site. And um, if you have any doubts, you can contact me and also Antonio during the coffee break and during the day. Thank you. Me? Okay. Uh, thank you very much for, for the invitation of uh, participating here in this uh, conference. Uh, the alumni uh, is doing a, a great job. It has a, a huge audience, audience here. My, my English is a little bit rusty, so forgive me if I say something I shouldn't. 
Um, first of all, uh, by this time you should have known I'm here about talking about, about uh, a very, very sexy, sexy theme in computer engineering, it, and that is called testing. <laughs> okay? Who likes testing? Okay, some of you. Okay. Who understands that software is everywhere in our lives? Okay, good, good, you're awake. That's very important. Uh, do you like when your software, or the w software you're using does not work? Do you like it? And if you are in a, in a plane and the plane does something? Okay, so it's important to test software. Who agrees with me? Okay, good, good. So we are, we are on uh, the same, same mindset. So what, I'm, what the presentation is about is about Agile. Agile is not testing. Agile is a, a methodology for developing software. But why does a, a tester come here and talk about Agile? Um, this is our, our agenda. I'm trying to, to cover it in, in the, the time I was given. Uh, and let's talk a little bit, what is Agile for? Uh, in the, in the uh, oh, how could we say it, uh, in the enterprise scenarios, uh, lots of enterprises produce software here in the Porto, as, as uh, Rui said in the, early, in the early start of this conference, there's a growing community, tech community, with lots of startups, right? Where is Rui? Somewhere. Um, <laughs> he's already in, preparing the coffee break. Uh, so, uh, so some of you might be already inside agile techniques, software, test, uh, software creation techniques. But uh, when, wa when I was studying, it was uh, quite a time ago, uh, we didn't focus too much on uh, methodology. We just wanted to do the the coding, to pass the, uh, the, the projects, deliver the projects and move on and, uh, and uh, go ahead. But how many of you are actually now collaborating in companies producing software? Okay, great, that's great. Many, many of you. So you're used to methodology of developing software, right? Right? Yeah. Okay. Good. So, Agile, I'm not very concerned about Agile, but uh, what happens is that Agile is focused on reaching the most quality, higher quality possible within uh, budget and uh, budget and, and time frame constraints. Okay, so uh, how many of you think that when you did the project, by the end of the project, you think, now I'm ready to start the project? Yeah. It happened to me a lot of, a lot of times. So, Agile is actually about dealing with this. The, the, when, we, when we are in software developing project, what happens is that we don't, the, the, when we start a project, we see it in a way, and then when we, have, when we end the project, actually we have to deal with this, all of this, create all of this change in our mindset, all of this change in our environment. Okay, this is what Agile is about. So, when, when Agile reached companies uh, a few years ago, uh, and by the way, Agile is a, a huge umbrella. It's not uh, uh, actually a methodology, but an umbrella for all, all, uh, some methodologies like Scrum, Kanban, and all that stuff. What happened is that they reached uh, uh, companies and the teams were used to developing in waterfall uh, methodologies. Do you know Waterfall? Yes, okay. So, in Waterfall, what happens to testing? Is it at the start, in the middle, in the end, or at all? What do you think about it? In the end, right? When we have all the software done, and we, now, do we have time? Okay, then let's test it. If not, then let's ship, ship it that way. So, what happened is that we had some changes, some, some, uh, some uh, challenges, okay? Like we have to change mindset. And another thing, who likes to, to run? Run, jump, okay, good. Who likes to bike? To bike in West Coast, okay. Who likes to, to sit on the, on the sofa and change the... 
Oh, okay. <laughs> I, w I shouldn't recommend the first two ones, but nevertheless, the thing here is speed. Okay, when we are running, the guy running, uh, who is running, does not want to run as fast as a uh, a guy who is cycling, or does he? Hopefully not. So what we have here is that in agile we have different speeds of teams adhering to agile. Okay. This is very important because by the end of this presentation, hopefully, you'll find software quality a little bit more sexy and also understand that testers have a lot of work to do to involving all the teams into this important, very important issue that is called software quality. So we have mindset, please think that we should work as a team to reach a higher standards of quality in software. There's Everybody has different speeds and also different uh, knowledges, okay? Different times of get uh, getting to knowledge. So, Agile was uh, started with a, an Agile manifesto here. I recommend you to just to take a look. Uh, I was talking to, to some prospects and they said, I cannot do Agile because all my teams are outsourced. Uh, because Agile is about not doing documentation. It's not that simple, uh, of course. What uh, these guys found out is that uh, actually there is value in process and tools. There is value, it's important. Tools are very important, processes are very important. But nevertheless, individuals and the way they interact is what makes software creation. It's all about software creation. Software creation, that is so I, I recommend you just to take a look into this because there's a mindset around this way of doing software more about people to people than processes everybody apart, okay? And so what Agile bring into everyday life of an Agile team is that problems are made visible earlier, okay? And that is one very key factor for software quality, okay? For instance, bugs are appear earlier, okay? A slippage, process splitches, split uh, budget. We are over budget. There are lots and lots of proce uh, projects that by, by the, end of the, the end of the budget, there's still a lot of project to do, okay? And so also the motivation. People, uh, teams are getting not very, uh, I'm trying, to, I'm thinking in Portuguese, I'm very sorry. But uh, I, I don't want to, to do the project, I'm not very motivated, not very excited, and also the, the, the slippage in, in tasks, okay? So the first thing uh, a team should do is transition, Tr uh, and uh, transition from the waterfall model into a V model, that is the, the, the model that we use in testing, where for every, waterfall uh, task, there is a testing task, okay? Oh, it's in Portuguese, this one. <laughs> the one of you that don't, cannot read Portuguese, I'm very sorry, so but you have to trust me. Once you do, good for you. Uh, there's also one, one transition that it's not easy. I don't know how many of you have been through this. Uh, it's not very, it's not a sexy activity also. Uh, also, there's lots of uh, budget constraints and we have to focus on that and the, and the scheduling. We are very used in using my Microsoft project or all that, all that tools. And so, we are very used in doing a lot of tasks that's not very, very helpful. They, they're very important, but not very helpful into an agile world. So, we have to think, shall we do it the hard way or the easy way? Okay, so what we have to do is replace a very extensive uh, requisite requirements planification into something like user stories, shorter, shorter requirements uh, specifications. We have to change the, uh, I'm present, sorry, the, we have to change this, the project, into a whiteboard, okay? Also have to change this, uh, the, um, the waterfall into a teamwork, okay? And we have to change 
something that happens a lot, into a, a more collaborative way of doing things. We call it the power of three, okay? And so, we have to do, after all, when, when we reach the project manager and, and uh, we are trying to do agile, the Scrum Master has to do, has to, to explain everybody that software development must be predictable. Actually, it should, but it is not. It is not. Uh, also, we should stick to the budget, stick to the functionality, and stick to the, 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 the schedule we have. But usually we don't. So we should fix uh, budget and uh, schedule, but we have to sacrifice functionality. Okay? So success is like, let's stick to the plan. Okay? Uh, <laughs> when you ask your teachers, uh, that I know there are some teachers here in the in the audience, but uh, usually, have you ever tried to, oh, teacher, can we postpone the exam? Have you ever tried that? <laughs> That's not sticking to the plan, to the schedule, right? But what, what the heck, our, our life is like doing this. So what the, it is focused, uh, we should not stick to the plan, but we should stick to what is valuable, most valuable for customer, okay? And uh, of course, methodology is important, processes are important, but it's not the most important. The key word here is most important. What we should do is that people are more important than, okay? And requirements are immutable. That's not really uh, very true, but we should prepare ourselves for change, okay? So what actually we're doing, what, we're, what I'm talking about, is doing the same things, but a little bit different. We should have a backlog, a backlog over there, okay? We have a scope and we have a time schedule and we should see if we can do our scope within this time. If we, if we cannot, we cut scope and the line comes down, okay? Uh, the other thing, we should have a backlog. We should r uh, place all our requirements in simple pieces we, we are able to implement by themselves. We should, of course, specify, do the, the requirement specification in a, in a way that we can understand what is wanted, the, the analysis, the implementation, and also the testing, okay? We should try to uh, use tools to help ourselves continue this integration. This one is very, very useful even if you have automatic tests and if you put your code, I don't see where the code starts, but if you put your code inside a, into a <coughs> continuous integration system, it, by the end of the day, it will show you the, the run tests and the bugs already found, okay? And we should, of course, automate, okay? Um, so, this, is, this slide is more for companies that are using Waterfall. I know that some of you are already participating in the enterprise world, the ones are not, uh, please believe me, that sometimes we get into this question, should I use Agile? Uh, our te my team is outsourced, I still have to do documentation, I don't see the advantage, uh, uh, I don't have the tools, I don't have the expertise. Well, actually what I'm trying to tell you is that the world is, has lots of, of colors, okay? We don't have to like the same painters, everybody. So what we have to do is find, find our, our standard, find our, our place in Agile in order to get the advantages from Agile. All, all this presentation is focused on testing. It does not seem so, but it is. Uh, so you should have your own Agile. There's no need to be a superhero. Okay, to, to implement some, some of, the, of the, the, easy, the easy rules of Agile. And there's not a need, a, a very high need of technology. A whiteboard and some, some post-its would do the trick, okay? And so you have to, of course, change the mindset and understand that change is what happens every day. Every day, when you think, if you really think requirements are immutable, you're forgetting about this. Change happens every day in our, in our lives, about everything, okay? So, what we, what we recommend is that evolve skills. Evolve skills, team skills, also prepare for collaboration, 
have some techniques. There are some techniques that are very, very useful. Okay. Uh, you should, of, of course, select these two key people that are very, very important. This pro product owner, uh, like, um, is the defender of the product. You shouldn't cut too much functionality, or the product wouldn't be useful. And uh, there's a Scrum Master that is very, has a very important role that you, you shouldn't stick too much to, to processes or we couldn't deliver the software, okay? So after all, we get into tests. When we, as a testers, and Wintrust is only, is very, does not do software development, so we only do is testing uh, for, for our customers, uh, help improve their testing processes, and when we get into a project where the, the, the development is outsourced and we have our customer, we don't, when we see, when we say to our customer, we, we, we found this defect, uh, actually what we are saying, we, we are not involved in a way that uh, we want to take the place of the guys that, do, that did the development. That's not our job, we'll never do it. So by the, by the time we say, we found this bug, we don't, actually we're not talking about, we don't have any, any pressures, political pressures into, or business pressures to, to say that. Actually we only do it in a way to help. So uh, when we get into a project where Agile is, use, is used and good, has a good usage, we find that some techniques really help uh, make the project simpler uh, in, in a way that it's clear for everybody, okay? There's also one thing very, very important in quality assurance that is, is it done? Is that functionality you compromised, is it done? Okay, and Agile is a, a huge focus on the definition of done. The user stories also, and the whole team, okay? The whole team is that if Agile is well done, if the project manager is aligned, the Scrum Master, the, the product owner, and the, everybody gets into the same boat in the same way of thinking, sometimes you, get, you, you see a, a process of like one for all. And when you reach a, a stage where it is very, very important to raise the, uh, find more bugs, that is to say in the final acceptance stage of a release, Sometimes the developers shift into testing mode, okay? And also sometimes when the, when the, when the product is a little bit uh, tied up or a bit delayed in the scheduling, some testers might do some coding, small parts of coding. So if you don't like, test, if you don't like testing but you like coding and if you kind of like agile, prepare yourself to test. Okay, that is very, very useful for everybody, okay? Uh, also, we, we kind of see that uh, big companies like uh, Microsoft, Google, and all those companies that did some automation, consider automation code, automation, test automation code as a production code. They take it very, very seriously, okay? Nowadays, I believe it's 35% of Microsoft Office code is testing code, automation, test automation code. It is not shipped to our PCs or not shipped into the cloud product, okay? So what, we're, what I'm trying to, to talk to you is that if we can move in shift into some agile techniques, we might get something like this, okay? A whole team looking, working in the same way, working in a synchronized way. Now guess what happens when a software team that has uh, developers, uh, business analysts, and testers doing all this, doing this like changing tires. What happens? What do you think it happens in terms of quality, software quality? It, does it get higher? Does it get lower? Okay, so it's very, very important to reach higher standards of software quality that everybody shifts into the same, uh, same way of thinking. The other, the other, the other example I like to say is that, do you know who, who this guy gets the yellow jersey? If they cross the, the this is a, a, a cycling time trial. Uh, the second guy that crosses the, fishing, the fi finishing line 
is the guy that gets the jersey, not the first one. And they, what, they all work for the same goal. They don't care about the jersey, I think. Okay, and now <laughs> some good news. Don't be na naive in terms of thinking agile is the solution for everything. It is not, okay? Let's keep our minds open, but let's also use our brains because it, this is all about people, all about people doing software, mostly for people, uh, and so we have to think. Currently, the, the um, I'm working on, a, on, on some, some, collecting some information about the way complexity of software is evolving. Uh, if I ask here which of the following items has more software in it, who might say? Uh, uh, do you know the, the, how do you call it? Who I find? The space shuttle, okay? Let's consider the space shuttle. It is a huge vehicle, uh, NASA's vehicle. Let's consider, um, Let's consider Microsoft Office, it's also a piece of software. And let's consider Mercedes, the top Mercedes. Which one of the three has more lines of code in it? Ah, you guys you knew the answer. Yes, it's the Mercedes, like by 10, time, 10 times more or five times more than Microsoft Office, okay? So it's this software is in ev everything in our, in our uh, way of doing it. I'm not very concerned about the quality of software in Mercedes because I have not reached that level. I'm not, I don't have a Mercedes, but nevertheless, my boss has it and it hopefully does not happen. I don't want anything to happen to him. So this is uh, uh, the main, the main goal. Any questions? Okay, so now I know the answer if the, the questions are in Portuguese or English. <laughs> I know how I should answer that. Really, no questions? Are they alive? Hopefully. <laughs> yes, a question? Yeah, good for you. <laughs> Bad for me. It's alive. No? Off? The mic is off, please. Does it have a button? Hello? Yeah. Ah, okay. Good. So my question is, um, sometimes I find art in companies to convince people testing. So how, how do you argue the right way? How do we advocate testing in companies uh, that only they have a big process and don't allow people to write a single <laughs> unit test? OK. Uh, let's say. Uh, what happens if the, if the software goes live and has a bug? Do you, can you imagine the impact? Can you calculate the impact of a bug? Well, um, of that bug? money loss of, comp of customers complaining, time uh, giving support to customers, OK, that kind of metrics. Uh, that can be a way of convincing, but uh, okay. if, if the release is later, one year later, they generally don't uh, get convinced by that. <laughs> So they are very, very, that's the marketing teams always think about to market, time to market, it's very important. But actually, sometimes when we are in companies, we try to forget our everyday lives, okay? And uh, everybody has downloaded an app into, uh, into uh, our mobile phones, and then the app did present a bug. And uh, I, I cannot say some examples because it's comp public companies and they would damage their image. So uh, if you ask the people, the, the guys that they are telling, sorry, but you cannot do tests because we have, we have to ship the product. If you say to them, did you ever did downloaded an app and you didn't like it? Yes, that's why the way your customers are going to feel. Do you want them to do it? What do you think? What did you say about the company that placed a bad app like that? Okay, this is a great tool for nowadays uh, for, for testing because everybody uses software even if they don't like it. I was in a conference the other day and the, the, a security guy asked, which one of you did bring your laptop? Which one of you did bring your laptop? Okay, some of you, okay, good. Which one of you, uh, actually you start by asking which one of you did bring a computer into this room? 
Which one? Okay. Which one of you did bring a mobile phone into this room? Okay, great. Why do you think a mobile computer a mobile phone is not a computer? Okay? So that's that's the key point. Everybody is using software. They don't see it, it's not sold that way, it's sold as an easy good thing of happening, but actually that's what's happening. The time I stop. Okay. <laughs> oh, software we have here, a software issue. Thank you. You're welcome.